<clears throat> oh. So, I did not watch Making a Murderer again. I've watched it four times now only. Um, today, we're going to break down another video. I want to say thank you too for all the people who watch and comment and uh, leave likes and subscribe. Um, it's a weird, cool little community of Making a Murderer people. Um, and I'm going to continue making these Making a Murderer videos. Two more that I know I'm going to do will be relating to more of Kathleen Zellner, his current attorney, and then one more probably with um, Sheriff Colburn. If you want to know more about Making a Murder and stuff and like more in-depth videos than I do, I just do a little video analysis. Um, Eric Cozy is a good one and the other one I watch sometimes is uh, Sean Atwood. Those are two channels you should definitely check out if you like Making a Murder and you've been sucked and sucked, sucked in the rabbit hole like me. I think it's really easy to get sucked in a rabbit hole like this just because once you start seeing things line up and you're just like, what? It's hard not to <clears throat> just get consumed by it if things like this interest you obviously I'm surprised how many people actually are like into this and like comment and participate um, it's kind of cool so like I said I'll continue making them as long as people are watching it and um, I do appreciate the likes and subscribes so today's video is going to be an analysis of Pamela Sturm but I just don't believe her Sturm 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 something like that and she was the lady who testified and actually actually found the rav 4 at Savory's uh Avery <laughs> Savory's Avery's salvage yard I'm videotaping this for scientific research this shit will be on the discovery channel <laughs> I mean if you just watch it for the first time you're probably not really thinking it's completely weird but just like all these videos you gotta, gotta go back and watch them and watch their mannerisms and body language and stuff the video I'm gonna be using today is from the dialogue I'll leave a link in the description to everything I mentioned below so you can check all this stuff out and she gives a really good analysis of more the mannerism she's doing and things along those lines kind of like how I did with the 11 signs of lying with Mike Kalbach all right anyways let's get into this video here and I'll let you be the judge leave a comment what you think who you might think have actually done the crime and uh, let's just keep this thing rolling sir were you familiar with the Avery salvage no I'm not at all. I wasn't at all all I knew it was a 40 acre plot salvage yard for vehicles now, Ms. Stern, prior to your arrival at that location, had you had any contact or direction from any law enforcement officials? Pay attention to a lot of her, like, hand motions and face, touching of the face. The video I'm watching is from the dialogue, like I mentioned. She does a really good job of breaking down all those little things. I'm not going to do it all, but um, if you want a longer video with those details, watch her video. No, sir, we didn't. Why don't you show us then? Where did you and Nicole start looking? We had searched all of these. Then we went down here south, and there were like, you can see there's two rows here. So I searched the first row, and my daughter was on the second row. Let me stop you right there, Pam. Can you tell the jury what you were looking for? We were Deep breath. looking for any trace of Teresa, be the car uh, or herself. Oh, okay. So just right away, I mean, just what she said so far, nothing's really, if you watch it just one time, you wouldn't think anything's really weird or suspicious about this lady up until this point. And after looking at those rows, deep breath again. Those are cars, where did you then look? I continued up here, and I saw these vehicles up here, and this is like a ridge up here. So up on the top, there's a little car path, and you can see there's some vehicles here, and I thought, I have to search up there. Yet yeah, she went straight to the back up here. Interesting. And she didn't bother looking at all these other cars here. So that's a really good point. Um, I don't know the lady who makes these dialogue videos, but whatever, let's call her the lady. Um, it's a good point. If you look at how big that freaking map is, and she just did that one little row and then went up into the little area when there's like thousands of cars it looks like there. Kind of weird. Yeah. So I went up there and I went through like three cars and I came upon this car that had all these branches 
on top of it, leaning against it, and there was an old hood of a car leaning up against it, and it was kind of bluish green. But she seemed to be overacting just a little bit here. I agree with her um, analysis of she's overacting. The theatrics of it all, she seems very, she seems like she just uh, is really trying to sell it. And uh, this is really strange. This is really strange. And it looked like a little SUV that like I was looking for, a RAV4 Toyota. Remember from the 11 Signs of Lying with Mike Halbach, the hands, they do a lot of pointing with hands, 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 all hands, bro. To the back of the vehicle, and again there were branches leaning up against it, and I noticed that it said RAV4. Well, my heart started going, you know, oh my goodness, maybe this is it. Because you're right there, Pam. When you saw this, Miss Sturm, what did you do? I became very, very worried for our safety because 90% of this is probably Teresa's car and we're in danger. And I went running to the area where she was. I said, Nicole, Nicole, you have to come and see this car. Like just looking at this picture of the car, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, if you killed someone, I guess you'd hide it. But this, if all the other cars around it, which I've read and heard, don't look like that. Well, the ones that are around it, they don't have shit all over it. I mean, people question his intelligent, um, Stephen Avery's intelligent as it is. But I mean, to think he would just cover up that one in the back little area, it's kind of strange. It doesn't really make sense. Cole, Nicole, you have to come and see this car. It must be her car. Did you attempt to verify the identification of this vehicle? Yes. And how was that done? My daughter Nicole uh, brought her cell phone along. And we, I should back up. Ryan gave us a direct line to Sheriff Poggle. So Ryan, she mentions um, the other video I've done on him about how he's sketchy. Just more sketchy people. There's more and more and more and more. And it's hard not to believe it's not one big team effort. I mean, we already know that is what it is. In case we found something. So I called Sheriff Poggle. And I said, I think I found a vehicle. How long from when you entered that property did it take you to find your vehicle? I believe we entered at 10 to 10. And by 10.20 to 10.25, we had found the vehicle. I can just tell this lady, she is like so proud of finding it more for herself than what they were actually looking for. Now that might be kind of a crazy and mean thing to assume of someone, but I just do not buy anything this lady's saying. Um, if you go look at all those other videos I mentioned or the channels I mentioned with Eric Cozy, Sean Atwood, they really get more in depth with um, her and specific things. and. There's something about her being a PI, just sketchy, sketchy, bro. I had no idea. Do you think you got lucky? Yeah, well, not lucky. God showed us the way, I do believe that. It's normal. God showed us the way. Now I don't bash anyone who's religious, not religious, whatever you believe in. I think it's great to have faith in it, something. As long as you have faith in something, that's a good thing. But that right there is more of just, I don't know why that makes me feel like she's just lying even more. Um, but when she said that in the theatrical kind of way, it's just a joke. God showed her the way straight to the car. This exhibit now that you and your daughter, Nikki. We would have tried. We would have came back the next day if we had to. Yeah. <clears throat> it seemed too weird. Right. Yeah. All right, so that's the Sturm testimony sorry if it's kind of choppy and a lot of cutting um but the dialogue video that i got this from it she stops and pauses a ton and does a lot of analysis yeah just another another little piece of the fucked up puzzle of the stephen avery case you know she definitely seems off and it, the more you watch it each time it just seems like it's more set up and more set up. And it's probably, I'm so sucked deep into this rabbit hole, that's not helping, but at the same time, it just does not make sense. You cannot convict someone and not prove that they did it and they never did that. Someone else did this shit. 
And the fact that the police never wanted to investigate or ask or question anyone else about it, it's one huge cover-up. It's disgusting, and I cannot wait for both of them to get out, and we'll see justice, actually. Hardest part about seeing all this, too, is honestly his parents. They're just aging and aging and aging through this. And what I want to see is him be able to get out before something bad that or they pass away or something like that so i'll wrap this video up for today thanks for watching again leave a like subscribe leave a comment what you think and if there's anything else you want to see me break down you can leave a comment for that as well all right i'll see you next time